Preview Manchester United vs. Newcastle United Prediction Team News Lineups Only one of last year's EFL Cup finalists can enter the pot for the 2023-24 quarterfinal draw. As Manchester United renew hostilities with Newcastle United in Wednesday's fourth round battle at Old Trafford. Eric Ten Hag's men put three past Crystal Palace, without reply to cruise into the last 16. While the Magpies ended Manchester City's quadruple hopes with a memorable one-goal triumph. Match Preview Since leaving Eddie Howe's men crestfallen at Wembley while they reveled in the end of their six-year trophy drought, Man United have seen their powers wane significantly. And the reigning EFL Cup champions were nothing short of deplorable in Sunday's Manchester Derby. Following a few flashes of promise in the opening five minutes, Ten Hag's tepid troops were brought crashing back down to earth by an Erling Haaland brace before the Norwegian turned provider for Phil Foden to tap home. Leading to a cacophony of jeers at full time as the theater of dreams turned into an auditorium of nightmares. Pep Guardiola's treble winners ruthlessly snapped Man United's three-game victorious run on Sunday, but in truth, all of the Red Devils' previous successes over Brentfoe. RD, Copenhagen and Sheffield United still left a lot to be desired, although their 3-0 beating of Palace in Round 3 was a rare enjoyable experience. Man United enter Wednesday's blockbuster showdown having progressed from each of their last five fourth-round ties in the EFLC, up and not since a penalty shootout loss to Middlesbrough in 2015 have the Red Devils, who are seeking their seventh triumph in the tournament, been dumped out at this POI. However, having witnessed their beloved charges slump to their seventh defeat of the season already, and a fifth from their Openington Premier League fixtures for the first time since the 1986-87 campaign, some glass half-empty Man United fans may already be preparing for the cessation of their EFL Cup. Defense against a side who achieved what they could not. Indeed Man United could have done worse than to ask Newcastle or indeed Arsenal and Wolverhampton Wanderers for a few pointers on how to deal with Man City, whose EFL Cup dreams came to a swift end at the hands of Howe's hopefuls in Round 3, where Alexander Isak produced the pivotal moment. The Magpies' beating of the European champions came in the middle of a magnificent purple patch, in which they humiliated Sheffield United 8-0, and also put Paris Saint-Germain to the sword in emphatic fashion. But Howe's men have not covered themselves in glory over the past fortnight. Only one of Newcastle's last four battles has ended in victory, a 4-0 crushing of Crystal Palace while a 1-0 Champions League loss to Borussia Dortmund has been complemented by a pair of 2-2 draws with West Ham United and Wolverhampton Wanderers, the latter of whom came from behind twice to snatch a point at the weekend. Failure to cling on to their slender leads against Wolves means that Newcastle head to Old Trafford with just one win to show from their last six away matches. But the Magpies have not been beaten in an EFL Cup fourth-round tie since the 2004-05 campaign, prevailing in each of their last nine contests at this stage. Defeat at Wembley in the 2022-23 showpiece stretched Newcastle's winless run against Man United to seven matches. But the first half of their revenge mission was completed at St James's Park only a few weeks later in a thoroughly deserved 2-0 success. Part 2 now involves attempting to dethrone their off-color Carabao conquerors. Team News As was the case against Manchester City, all of Luke Shaw, Muscle, Ahmad Diallo, Knee, Tyrell Malaysia, Knee, and Lissandro Martinez, Foot, will be absent for the Red Devils on Wednesday. While Jadon Sancho has now spent two months ostracized from the main group of players, Neither Casemiro nor Aaron Wan-Bissaka were past fit to take on the citizens, although both men should be in with a chance of shaking off their afflictions for the visit of Newcastle. Where Ten Hag should not be averse to rotating his underperforming players. Rafael Varane, Sergio Reguilon, Mason Mount, Alejandro Garnacho and Afidigan Kabi Mainu could all offer something different, but having given Andre Onana the nod against Palace. Ten Hag seems set to stick with the Cameroonian over Alte Bayandir. Meanwhile, Newcastle officially began life without Sandro Tonali over the weekend, 
As the Italy International's 10-month ban for betting breaches came into effect, meaning that the 55-pound summer signing will not don the black-and-white jersey again until August. Harvey Barnes' ankle, Elliot Anderson back, Jacob Murphy's shoulder, Lewis Miley illness, and third-round match winner Isaac Groin will not be at Howe's disposal either. While Sven Botman's knee problem is unlikely to heal in time for Wednesday's contest too. Having not been afraid to make a few alterations against Man City, how could place his trust in the likes of Tino Livermento, Matt Target and Joe Willock, who opened the scoring in April's two-goal success over the Red Devils? Manchester United possible starting lineup Onana, Dalot, Varane, Maguire, Regulon, Amrabat, Eriksson, Antony, Mount, Garnacho, Hodgland, Newcastle United possible starting lineup Pope, Livramento, Schar, Lascelles, Target, Willock, Guimarães, Jolinton, Almiron, Wilson, Gordon, We say, Manchester United won, won Newcastle United Newcastle to win on penalties. Something is just not clicking with Man United's expensively assembled attacking contingent at the moment. And not even the introduction of a few fresh legs should help to solve Ten Hag's conundrum in all areas of the field. Newcastle's poor away record does at least offer the Red Devils some hope of keeping their grip on the trophy and 90 minutes may not be enough to settle a repeat of the 2022-23 final. But we can envisage the Magpies holding their nerve from 12 yards to eliminate the holders and prolong the Red Devils' distress.